and people. I just landed in. You sure did. Welcome yeah. back. If you've been here before, if you're stumbling across this from some weird internet rabbit hole, this is Hashtag, Hashtag just, just Saying. saying. While we're prostituting ourselves, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you hit the notification bell like it owes your money, it will let you know when we upload new content, which new. is usually every Friday. Yes. Uh, you can watch First 40 on the YouTubes. Listen where streaming things are streamed. You can catch the pre-show banter video on TikTok. Talk at hashtag just saying all one word. Yes. Real just saying. Prostitution complete. We are clean whores. <laughs> Prostitution we are not dirty complete. Whores. We are clean whores. Priya, you know. <laughs> well, the real just saying. It's 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 an over the sweater. <laughs> 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 Nothing under the shirt. You keep it clean around here. <laughs> 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 How's everybody? Oh my goodness. Uh okay. Goodness. Oh, I'm okay. Just okay. Yes. Well, it's better than not okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's uh nice out this week. Was it? A little bit. I didn't get to experience any of that. <laughs> Sad. Spring poked its head and then it was like, nope. Come Spring. Back. <laughs> Spring sprung and then it went back. That's all right. Bounced it bounced back. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, yes. Uh, it's, just, it's so much. <laughs> Who wants so to go first? <laughs> we uh, well, we were already talking about it. Yes. So should we just could we, could we talk? We started. I think I don't know if we started talking about it in the pre-show banter. Yep. Or if we started in between the setup. Okay. But the Beetlejuice uh, trailer, trailer is out. Dropped. Yes, it did. Like not. It's a I think teaser it, trailer. I think it dropped it's not a really yesterday. a trailer. You couldn't call it a trailer. I think it dropped yesterday. Yes. Drop it like it's hot. Here are my thoughts. Okay. One, I don't like little kids singing. <laughs> I find it creepy, and I, I realize that that's the vibe they were going for, but I don't like it. <laughs> okay. no, sorry, I don't, like it. I don't like it at all. It's, it's like every horror movie, right? They have the little kids going, ring around the ring. And it's like, no! One, something bad's about two, to happen. Is coming for you. Yeah, yeah. Something bad is going to happen. Yeah, and it does. So they had the little kids doing um, Deo. Yep. Daylight Cut. And I'm like, no! <laughs> well, shut up and go home. By the then. great Harry Belafonte. I don't like any of this. I don't like any of it. Um, Rest in peace. I do have my thought. It's not. I, I I obviously have no inside information. They've kept the movie pretty, mm -hmm. you know, Gosh. tight. Um, the the trailer has a little funeral in it mm -hmm. where you see um, Catherine O'Hara, Catherine O'Hara's character, mm -hmm. the um, mother. What was her name? Something. I don't remember her name. Doesn't matter. The mother, yeah. And yeah. then the the daughter Lydia. Yeah. And then what we presume is her daughter. Yep. And they're at a funeral, and I was sitting there thinking, like, that has to be the dad, right? Because like Hollywood won't hire Jeffrey Jones anymore. Or could they be the Otho guy? Well, why? Yeah. Well, why would they be doing that though? I don't know. I, I was just I was thinking that like somebody died. This would be <laughs> a, a a perfect explanation of why he isn't there. Right. Yes. And why she is back in the town or whatever. Is the guy also still left. alive? I, I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. He was a weird I character. I don't know. Which one? The fat the, guy. The, the guy who Otho. played Otho. Shh. He's like, yeah. I don't know what to do. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you get to see Michael Keaton for like two seconds. Yeah. And hey, uh, it on. just, it, it makes me think like, that was the reason they all had to go back to that house, you know. But we'll, well like, see. The house is exactly the same. The town. She goes over the bridge. Yeah. Everything. Well, that bri that bridge wasn't isn't really in the town. They built that just for the movie because oh. they did that in the original movie as well. And the bridge wasn't there when you and I went there. No, there's no Sounds covered bridge. Bitches. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't see that. Well, we didn't get to see the house either. Yeah. No. We didn't get well, that far, did we? The house isn't there. But the school is. The hill the house is on exists. I don't know. And the school is there. You know what town is this? 
Uh, it's a town in Vermont, oh, okay. which leads me right into the oh, other thing. Oh, damn. Well, you know, it's, Go like right I, ahead. it's like I planned it. Segway. Okay. Let Beetlejuice me, 2, coming soon. All so right. Beetlejuice 2, that comes out in September. Trailer, I'd this rate year, that. Huh? I'd rate that like a six. Okay. <laughs> I'm obviously we need more. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm obviously still gonna see it. Right. But I'm not like, like, oh my god, I, like, <laughs> wow, this is forty amazing. years in the making. Yeah. <laughs> Haven't seen the trailer yet, so I give it a zero. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't see it. I'm Scott, this is be the first person to watch. Sean's like too nope. occupied with uh, helping my mom out. Yeah. Well. Yeah. So. Yes. In this weekend, yes. in Vermont, in Vermont, there is an eclipse totality happening in Vermont. Totally just Vermont. Of the sun. You're just going to be able to see it <laughs> from like state. Vermont. <laughs> so the state officials are currently having emergency meetings in preparation for 50 to 200 thousand visitors for this eclipse, and they let the kids stay home from school. But it's this weekend. Well, they, they got they they got they to got stay Monday home today. Off? They got to stay home today. Oh. I was like, for an eclipse, you get to stay home for an eclipse. They're spoiled. Wow. Kids are spoiled today that, than we were. It's raining out. I can't go to school. That <laughs> never would happen. <laughs> Sun's out. Can't go to school. My School's school. Closed. My school would have been like, put your sunglasses on and come yeah. to school. Well, back in August when school first started, like one day was really really hot. Like yeah. Over 100 degrees, and they they canceled school because it was too hot for the people, for the kids oh that God. walk to school. They wanted, you know, dehydration. And, oh, Jesus. You know, what's it called? Set them with some water. Heat, heat stroke. I'm like, jeez. Walk in the shade. You shouldn't be going to school in August, anyways. After Labor Day. <laughs> yeah. Well, It'll be a little bit cooler. That's what it used to be. <laughs> I know. That's the way it should be. Now they go in earlier yeah. and they get out later. Well, but in between, they get all these days off and all these half days. Uh -huh. That's because they get all these damn days off. <laughs> yeah, less days off. Teachers need a break, too. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm not going to disagree with you there. Three-day weekend. Woo! I still got uh, three vacations. Yeah. Three vacation days or three vacation weeks? Weeks. Whoa, mm. damn. You got, well, do you know where it takes six? Yeah. <laughs> Christmas, which is, all right, I see Christmas. Right. Mm -hmm. Then you get February vacation, which I think they should take away. Right. Yeah. It's the coldest month and of the year. And then April vacation after that. Mm -hmm. What do you need the one in between for already? You uh, tired from being back already? <laughs> it was nice Didn't, when we went. It's but the shortest month. It's the coldest month. You should stay home. Don't right. they get a Don't they get a break around Thanksgiving? Because yeah. I remember well, like half day weekend. that Wednesday. I remember getting the half day on yeah, Wednesday like day and then not going back until the Monday. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. You had like a pizza party before you. <laughs> pizza party. <laughs> Not me. Have fun with your family. Some I pizza. think it was. I think we got to just watch movies all day. Yeah. Yeah. Like Ghostbusters. Planes, trains, and automobiles. <laughs> like Ghostbusters Afterlife. You get to watch. Um, what was that horror film with the dog? Cujo. Yes. You get to watch Cujo. I don't remember. <clears throat> I don't remember what we watched. It was usually like. I mean, there's really no. Thanksgiving esque type films. No, nope. I mean aside from I, you know, all all through November, we we tried to do I tried to find like Thanksgiving film <laughs> recommendations. That was fucking hard. <laughs> I won't be doing that shit again. <laughs> oh well. <clears throat> that, uh, Can only do some much. Trains, automobiles, and Charlie Brown thing. Yeah, it's like pretty much it. So I, an, an eclipse coming. Yes, there's an eclipse coming. You're back on track. Get you. I'm sorry. It's all right. Say that pimp's falling out. Get you in Vermont now. Um, today. Like, will, will we be able to see like a little bit? I don't think so. <laughs> I think there's something. I don't. I don't know why it's only there. Everybody's flocking to Vermont. I think the mountains. You get higher up. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, uh, we're always told not to look at the sun. Well, you, yeah, <laughs> you're not supposed to. You're not supposed to during an eclipse. I worship the sun. There's something I can see. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it for a second. Yeah. So far away, and yet so I don't, close. I don't have more uh, information, unfortunately. My, my. Um, now they have solar eclipses. They have lunar eclipses. My spies in have... Vermont have not given me anything. It's it's a, but it is it's since it's called uh, an eclipse totality. I'm assuming it's a full straight on eclipse. Oh. Yeah. It's dark out. <laughs> Tonight's forecast, dark. 
So the eclipse is what? Tomorrow or Sunday? And uh, they had today off. I, I don't know. <laughs> well, I think they had today off to like get them off the roads. Cause to of prep. The, yeah, because of all the... Get those the, school um, buses out the room. We got people coming. Because all the tourists coming in. We got company. It's sometime <laughs> over the weekend. Yeah. Yeah. So guess what opened today, Friday? What, Tara? <laughs> Ferris Bueller 2. <laughs> I was I was Ghostbusters. Gonna, I was gonna let that guy do it. Yeah, yeah finally, it yeah. is here. The new the new Ghostbusters. I've heard very cold reviews for it. Oh, I'm feeling it right now. Which yeah. It was cold oh oh oh! <laughs> but that, that's what you were going with there. That's no, that was an <laughs> accidental pun. I love yeah. it. Okay. <laughs> but um, it's it yeah it's it, they're they're kind of slamming it. Not as if that will deter me from seeing it. I'm still going to see, see it. it. People are the critics. I just want the, we know the popcorn. Gonna slam. The, the popcorn thing. <laughs> it's mostly critics, I think. They slam everything that's fun to us. Yeah, they really do. All they want is those dramas that we don't care about. <laughs> the one, the movies, the subtitle films. Yeah. yeah. You going to spring for one of those popcorn things, Joe? They might. Oh. Want to buy me one too? <laughs> 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 they might have one per customer. Probably. Yeah. It's only forty dollars. <laughs> only, but well, it comes with popcorn, and popcorn's like you know, fifteen twenty dollars for a popcorn. I, so it's half. I can't tell you. I can't tell it you the cool. last time I got popcorn in a it, movie theater. You know, it's in a replica, and it lights up, and it's it's four, a, forty bucks. That's it's a cool. it's a replica ghost trap, in case you you don't know. And then they they also have a, a Slimer popcorn bucket where you nice. You got to take the popcorn out of his mouth. <laughs> I'll. I'll and like a Stay Puffed Marshmallow have... Man uh, beverage thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice. Sip out of his hat. So today, today. In, in preparation of um, the, the, the film coming out, yeah. I was watching an interview Did with um, some of the cast. All right. So the interviewer asked, it was Paul Rudd and the, the woman who plays like, who plays like Egon's daughter. Okay. So he, the, the interviewer was asking them, like, what's the weirdest thing? Because Dan Aykroyd is apparently known for being very odd when he's on set. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. So the interviewer goes, what's the weirdest thing that Dan Aykroyd came up and wanted to talk to you about? And Paul Rudd, without hesitation, went, UFOs. <laughs> he really likes talking about UFOs. He talk about his spirits. He got vodka now. No, he didn't. Let's talk about that. He just wanted to talk about UFOs. And then um, the 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 woman was going, "Yeah, UFOs and aliens." He really wants to talk to people about aliens. <laughs> and then um, they asked the kids. And they were like, oh, he wanted to talk to us about, like, old trains and motorcycles and stuff. Oh, <laughs> Harley Davidson. I thought, wow. Yeah, did It sounds as odd as meeting Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> I, I don't think anything could be as odd as meeting Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> the man is just, he's a strange duck, that one. <laughs> but I, I just thought it was funny because I didn't know that Dan Aykroyd had that reputation of just being a, a weirdo. Me either. And a, apparently he'll something new every day. He'll talk your ear off about aliens and UFOs. They're so, not all green. So expect that when you go to a signing. I I don't know. I don't think he does signings. But if you were to meet him on the street, he'll say, "Dan, what do you think about life out there? Oh, aliens on Mars." <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Over the years, he um, he books himself at a bunch of different places to sign his vodka or whatever the hell it is. Oh, yeah? In the skull. Yeah, the, uh, what's the crystal, crystal skull vodka, I think it's called? Something Makes like sense. that. Macho. Something like that. Let us know. I know he does those <laughs> signings. <laughs> That's have, interesting. I only have him going to like conventions. No. Just signing his damn vodka. I can't imagine Dan Aykroyd just Ernie being doesn't. like, I think I'll go to a Comic-Con. Yeah. That's uh, that, we met Ernie. Yes. That sounds more like something Bill Murray would. I'm glad, just we, I'm glad we can say we met one of them. Yeah. Randomly show up at a Comic Con. <laughs> I miss going to those. Now is Rick like secretly in this movie? Not that I've heard. <laughs> I've not. I've, He's, I mean, the mole's I, still hiding. <laughs> I seriously doubt it. He's not hiding. He has a, a radio show in New York, and yeah. yeah. 
Louis, yeah, he's like Lu- the Crispin Tully, Glover right? of Back to the Future. Louis Tully <laughs> wants nothing to do with it. Yeah, well, Christmas I, has his reasons. So I, I personally, I I have mixed emotions about that because he he said, um, specifically, he said I never retired from acting. He said people just assumed that I did and stopped calling me. And then, come out, when come the out. when the Ghostbusters, when the 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 girl one, the female one, had come out, right? People were like, oh. Did, did you did they ask you to be in that or, or something? And he said no. And then he said that it's not <laughs> something that he would do because he's done it before. He uh, did two of them. As uh, far as he's concerned, he's done. Uh-huh. So, but then there were rumors about them there being a new Honey I Shrunk the Kids thing, and he was he was on track to do it. And I thought, weren't there like four of those freaking things? I know. <laughs> yes. And yet, Honey, but, we shrunk our shells. So I don't know. It, I said that's just confusing information because you're willing to do like four or five of this type of movie, but only right. two of this type of film. Our kids are missing. They're in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> right, honey? She fades. They're there somewhere. Dan, Dan Aykroyd's aliens crept <laughs> off with them. And, yeah. Earthquake. No, worse. Lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Jeez. <laughs> I so think, Ghostbusters, I can't wait to see it. I think yes. uh, Rick know? should have come back yeah. yeah, and have it end up being the him and Annie Potts, Janine, mm-hmm. actually ended up together. Um, they hooked up in the second one. Why not have them, you know, they're, they've they been married all this time or, you know, type of thing. Yeah. I don't know. That's what they should have done. If well, You never know. They could have done that. If he's never, up for it. We haven't seen the movie yet, so... I don't know. He's Could have, you know, like a cameo. You never know. I saw one article online that it made it look like he was coming back. I just want no one to You're talking about someone else. It. Don't ruin the movie before we see it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm probably going to be a couple weeks before I get to see oh, it. Oh, yeah. I'll be after, you know, the article after had, Easter. <laughs> the article had a picture of Rick Moranis. Yeah. It looked like he was coming back for this one. Yeah. It was, it was like a, uh, a bait and switch thing. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. wasn't him that's coming back. It's something, someone else. Well, Annie Potts came back. Yeah. Mm. Um. And yeah, the article was for Slimer. And, oh yeah, and Slimer, and then I know. Oh, well, she was in the, that last one. Yeah, she was. Yeah, and for then two seconds. I know William Atherton is back because he was in, and that's not a shock because he was in the trailer. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad to hear he's back. Yeah, I'm sure it will be Good interesting. Peck. Yeah, Walter Peck. To go back a little bit, I heard yes, Will, Willem Dafoe is in Beetlejuice. I guess he's like a, a like a police officer or something. But like, a, but, but like like a like a, in the in the in the other world, like after world. He's another odd person. <laughs> Willem, sorry, not Willem. Willem Dafoe. He's yeah. odd, odd, odd looking. By the way, <laughs> yeah. not as if I should judge, but he's an odd. He seems like an odd. Don't duck. judge me. Odd duck, that fella. Yeah, I liked him in Spider Man. Yeah, he's already in Spider Man. There's a um, another. F- uh, well, I'm sure he's done many films, but he did a film called um, Grand Buda- Budapest Hotel, which is a really great movie. And he plays kind of like a bad guy, like a hitman kind of guy. Huh. And he was he was really good in it, but he's still odd. <laughs> Doesn't take away from the fact I think he's odd. <laughs> We're getting a good list here of odd uh, actors. No, huh? I know. <laughs> I see you got your. I do. Your little notes, notes up. I got my notes. Got your notes up. What do you got, Sean? I ain't got shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sean. I'm, All ba- right. I'm bouncing off the Ghostbusters thing today. Okay. Let's see. I sent you both a trailer for the uh, Star Wars Acolyte. Yes. What did you think of it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I. <sighs> I, I, it's just, it's, it's tough because it's like, I, I do like the franchise, right? right? But I just think that there's been so many. I do like the Mandalorian. I thought the Mandalorian, although I haven't seen the, the season that, the last season that came out. Right. And I do like the Boba Fett show. I thought that was pretty good. And Obi-Wan. It's the Boba Fett show. I liked it okay. Yeah. It, the last few episodes were the, the better of the episodes. Right. Uh, other, other than dead. that, it's just it's been a lot of like 
saturation. Where they're they're giving us a lot. Yeah. At one time. Uh, yeah, I mean it's just Well, this takes place a hundred years before Phantom Menace. <laughs> so yeah, it's like a, a prequel's different... prequel. Yeah. So I mean <laughs> And we're we'll see who's in it <laughs> for yeah. like characters that we know. We'll see. So but... maybe I need I need to see a little more of I'm it. I'm looking at them like that's the girl from freaking uh Carrie Ann Moss. She was in the uh, Matrix. She's from oh, the Matrix. I'm like, like, why is she? <laughs> she was in the Matrix, and now uh, she's in space. She, she's in Star Wars. <laughs> oh, Dan Aykroyd, alien. <laughs> <laughs> um, <It> all relates. <laughs> and that's coming out in Disney Plus. Yeah, because so. they they can't. They get own enough. everything. They do. They've made a ton of money. That was the smartest purchase they ever made. That and Marvel. Yeah. Speaking of Marvel. Oh, dear. Um, they released the um, X-Men 97 animated series. I heard. It's really good. It's only oh. been two episodes, but uh, each week they release another episode. Yeah. <laughs> I'm watching him. Joe Joe got us all. Uh, spiced sp- Coke. I think you can see it. There we go. With spiced the light. It's, it is Spiced Coke. Yes. There we go. Almost matches the background. Uh, Look at that. The colors. What's your what's your take? Your hot take? Because I had one last night. And... He's just over there. <laughs> num, num, num. <laughs> <laughs> it smells. It tastes like something I I used right. to have as like now, a now I got candy or something. Now I got to pop mine open because you did it. To me, oh. it smells and tastes like pop rocks. Wow, that is a very. It almost has a fruity smell. To yeah. me, it tastes like Dr. Pepper, but it's, that's no. just me. It's it's incredibly effervescent. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ooh. Wow. What do you think? That's odd. <laughs> <laughs> like all these characters, all these people that we're talking about. Wow. Like a cherry um, yeah. Dr. Pepper. There's like a there's like a cherry aftertaste to it. It's supposed to be strawberry. I I disagree strongly. It's pretty good. Mm. For me, I mean, it's like it's a mouthful. Horrible. Mouthful of popper. I brought one for Jay and Nikki. Wow. Yeah, that was very thoughtful. <laughs> <laughs> it was very thoughtful. Oh my goodness. Spiced Coke. <laughs> Not bad. It's it's interesting. I didn't think I'd like it. Right. I thought it was supposed to be like a cinnamon thing. Like a hot I expected cinnamon, cinnamon because like they said cinnamon. spiced. Yeah. That's the first time I've ever seen you drink on the show. <laughs> Me too. No, we had four hours of cheers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We did something. I can't remember what I drank. I think it was iced tea. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Gatorade. It's Gatorade. fine. All right. Yeah. So, yeah, the X Men series is really good. Okay. It um, in this series, Charles is dead. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cyclops is the, the leader now, mm-hmm. and he got and Jean is now pregnant with his baby, <gasps> Scott Cyclops. <laughs> oh no! <yeah. laughs> it's all too, nah. sh- all too shocking. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and like it, it, they added more characters, but like it's characters like that were in the last time, but like in the beginning now, like okay. Bishop. And uh, morph, I remember morph like he, but yeah. Okay. And like and Magneto, after Charles died, he left like a will, and he said everything is I, I own the school and everything is now Magneto's, and they didn't know about it until I they, thought they were enemies. Why would he leave I it to know, Magneto? Yeah. What kind of topsy turvy <laughs> world is this? I don't know, but yeah, <laughs> that's good though. Like each week they're releasing a different episode. Uh, and, uh, it's only like half an hour long. You know, like cartoon, right. but it's really good. Yeah. <laughs> X Men '97. It, it Dis- takes place Disney in 1997. Yeah, because in '96 uh, Charles was died or was oh. murdered. And like, and then now it's the next year. It's, I see. They're uh, going on without Charles. I see. Charles in charge. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> I think it's the same like the voice actors from the from the, from the original. I see. Or similar hmm. sounding because they sounded the same. So, gotcha. Yeah. What else came out this week? 
Roadhouse oh, boy. is out on Prime Video with Jake Jonah. I didn't like the original. No, you didn't. So I'm probably going to skip the <laughs> Peter remake. Peter Griffin loved it. Huh? Peter, oh, yeah, Peter Griffin, yeah. Roadhouse. I guess uh, he has a tat. Well, he doesn't have a real tattoo, but like in the show he has a tattoo to tribute to uh, Patrick Swayze. Oh, okay. Very cool. Oh. I'm just, I'm not a big Patrick. I, I, well, I'm not a big Patrick Swayze fan. So. Ghost. No way puts baby in the corner. <laughs> well, somebody's got to. <laughs> Ditto. You know what? I'm, I'm sorry. Le- look at the logistics of that. I'm, not to like. Of? Not to veer off, but look at the logistics. <laughs> look at that from the father's point of view in Dirty Dancing. You have like a 15-year-old daughter. She's hanging out with like a 37-year-old man. <laughs> How are you? How are you not going to be like, hey, sit behind me? Yes. <laughs> Love has no age, Tara. Um, I think in some I'm states kidding, it though. should. I know. <laughs> Love has no age, but the law does. It's just it's creepy. The whole premise is creepy. Fifteen will get you twenty. Then maybe then then that girl's pregnant. Huh? And it's like, well, maybe it is. Probably not. <laughs> come, come on. I listen. Your, pers- your, your perspective really changes when you get older. Yeah. Yeah. Be like, you need, and I, you know, back when you were a kid, like, Ferris Bueller was, like, a cool guy. I think he's a little shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'd pop him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. Nine times. Nine times. <laughs> that principal should have expelled him. <laughs> It's like once a month. Why do you waste his time chasing him down? Just uh, probably so he can get evidence to expel him. Send somebody else out to do it. Well, you want it done right, <laughs> you do it yourself. Grace was busy. <laughs> Grace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ed. Tell <laughs> my dirty hair. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, with your bad knees, you shouldn't be throwing anybody. <laughs> yeah, shouldn't be throwing anybody, Ed. Let's see, <laughs> Doctor Dre. Oh received dear. Received a Holly a star in Hollywood Hollywood Walk of Fame. I really wanted. I didn't know you were going to say that, but I really wanted you to say that Doctor Dre received an honorary doctorate. <laughs> and I was going to say now he's a doctor, Doctor Dre. <laughs> There's two Doctor Dre's, remember? Yeah, that Doctor Dre and Ed Lover, MTV. Yeah. So who was at this? Ceremony. I'm imagining Eminem. Uh, I think Snoop Dogg was yeah. there. Descent, and, you know, all his, all his buddies. All his buddies. All his, buddies. his cronies. Yeah. You got a, you got a, I see. You got a star. I, I don't know see. where it is or who's next. It's in the to sky. <laughs> it's right between Meryl Streep and <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just an example. <laughs> it's around the corner from the Seven Eleven. <laughs> Take my time. Yeah. Oh, I have to. I'd have to. I have to drink that slow. I can't <laughs> chug things anymore. Okay. She can make that last four hours. I, I'm on a no. <laughs> four I mean, days. No, I'm kidding. And I'm on a medication. I can't. I can't like chug a chug a jug it. <laughs> Jennifer Tilly. Remember her? Vaguely. She travels with a her own Chucky doll. Nah, like why? She'll, she'll be at the airport <laughs> and she'll have a Chucky doll with her. I don't know. She's weird. That screams to me. I want to get recognized. <laughs> she was in the Bride of Chucky, and yeah? she was in the Chucky after that. Was she the voice, or was she physically in it? She was physically Both. in it. That screams to me like, <laughs> like, yeah, hey, look, she'll be look at the at airport me. with an old Chucky doll. That's weird. <laughs> Most people wouldn't want to get recognized at the airport <laughs> or anywhere they go. Yeah, she was herself, and she was the doll Tiffany. Yeah. Okay, that's Tiff. Tiff. That's odd. You know what? I'm putting her in my weird column. She's an odd, she's an odd duck too. What a weirdo! Traveling around with a Chucky doll. She looked really good, really good in Liar Liar though. Was she in Liar Liar? Yeah. yeah. She was the one that. Uh, I changes or I get married. Jim Carrey was defending. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. The the bitch. It's been a long time since I've seen that film. <laughs> All right. I. Had a conundrum, Ooh, a conundrum that came to a head this today. Actually, oh. I was gonna say this week. Yes, today. So I had a purchase okay. in oh. the UK of um, good old friends in the UK. I I can't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> like a suit. 
So there was a purchase that convo. I was I was working on for the UK. Okay. Okay. Now it ended up not. Uh, I ended up getting having to get a refund on this purchase. All right. A full refund? Uh, yes. Excuse well, me. full enough. <laughs> so. <laughs> So I've been 99%. I've been emailing with the um, representative all week. Now they I'm on a different obviously I'm on a different time than they are. Right. They're five hours ahead of me. Oh, so by the time the I by the time I get up, their their work day is I mean that's midday for them, right? <laughs> it's tea time. <laughs> so I would get up and only have a short amount of time to answer whatever new questions they had for me about my refund. So we were going back and forth. All right. And then they were like, okay, we need your your bank number, this thing called the sort code, your bank, all this shit. And I'm like, sort okay. Code. Okay. So I called the bank, got that, sent it to them. They were like, is is this correct because it's it's not happening? So I'm like, oh, I'm not going to help. So I called the bank again. Mm-hmm. This time I get a different sort code number. <laughs> And I send it to them. Now the now the person's like, "Can I just call you?" And I'm like, "No phone calls, Give me. none. No super. I don't like speaking on the phone. I'm not. I'm not speaking to you. I'm already angry because you're not giving me my money fast enough. I want it now. This is the digital age. Give me my money now. That's right. So today I woke up right. and she Jump she had hoops. sent me two more emails. Too. And she's like, I really would like your number to speak to you. And I'm like, girl, <laughs> you are driving me around the bend and back. So I call my bank again. This time I don't call the, the regular 800 customer service. I call an actual branch. Yeah. So I get. You got I, a person or a I got a person. Oh, human being. So this person gets on the phone and I said, listen, I'm oh, trying yeah. to get a refund from the UK. Right. And this is, they jerking my chain. <laughs> And I'm getting kind of pissy. I said, it's not you. This is 100% my anger. Rooney! So she was kind of laughing about it. Yeah. Sorry. So she goes, all right, well, what? Tell me exactly what you need. So I said, okay, they want the bank name. I said, I think I already know your name. I said, they want the name on the account. Pretty sure I know my name. I said, they want the account number. 100% sure I know that. I said, and they want something called the sort code. And she goes, oh, we don't have that in the U.S. And I'm like, why are they asking me for it? And why have and why have two other representatives from your bank given me a number? And she goes, I don't know why they gave that. And I'm like, Just a mess with it. Just give her a sort code. I said, I don't know either. Five, three, and five. she goes, okay, in the U.S. we call it a SIFT code. And she goes, I know, it's just, it's weird <laughs> shit. It's for an international transfer. Canada, so she goes, she goes, here is your code. Okay. I said, okay. She goes, this is a hundred, this is a correct. She goes, if it, she goes, if you have a problem, she goes, you have these people call me. She's like, and I will give them <laughs> peace of my mind. I'll give them what for. <laughs> I said, all right, I'm, okay. I'm trusting you, Marilyn. Don't let me down, Marilyn. <laughs> Marilyn. Marilyn. So now I send the information and I'm like, here you go. And so I said, listen. And in my email, I was a little bit short, not too much. I said, listen, I said, we don't have sort codes in the U.S. We have Swift code. So here's the Swift code. I said, I do realize that I've given you four different codes, but this is the right code. I'm 100% sure. Allegedly. Okay. I said, the name on the account, here's my name. The name on, you know, the account number, boom, here it is. I said the the bank bank name boom here it is. To give him Marilyn's name. I suggest <laughs> Marilyn wants you to call. <laughs> she so wants I said, to talk to you. Yeah, Marilyn's upset. You're jerking me. You're jerking me around. So then I said, you know, we don't we don't have because they complained about how the account number. They're like, there's too many numbers. So I said, I don't know if you realize this uh, from the thousandth time that I've said it, but I'm in the U.S. I was like, this is my account number. I said, I can't, if I subtract numbers, it's not my account number anymore. I said, I can't take off numbers to please you. (laughs) This is what the number is. So so I sent that. Now, and then I threw in my phone number, which I regret doing. Oh, yeah, they're in the metric system. (laughs) Too many numbers. (laughs) So I know. So like... 
20 minutes goes by, I think I'm in the clear now. Oh, I'm like, shit. 20 minutes. I know they've read it because she, she's she been like, boom, quick response. So, boom, I know I'm all set, right? My phone starts ringing. I look. It's a UK number. I'm like, fuck me. How'd they get your number? I had given it to oh. them, but I regretted it immediately oh, after I sit send. <laughs> so I pick up the phone, and I'm like, now I'm like, I don't want to be like the asshole American, right? So now I have to be overly jovial. Who the hell is this? So I pick up the phone, and I'm like, hello? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for calling America. <laughs> So the woman, How may I help the you? woman on the other line, I, I do a horrible British accent, right? But the woman on the other line is like, oh, hello, is this Tara? <laughs> I'm like, yes, it is. <laughs> what can I do you for? So she goes, listen, I'm supposed to call you. I have to verify all the information that you gave me. <laughs> she goes, I love this fucking accent. She goes, we have to do it by phone. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, uh, Haley, I don't want to do it by phone. And she's like, but I, we have to. My name's Haley. She said, we have to. And I'm like, okay. She goes, so she verifies all the information, right? So, so what's code? So she she she's saying the things, and then I'm like, yup. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's correct. Yep. So she hits the last thing, and I said, congratulations, Haley. You nailed it. So she starts laughing her ass off. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, oh, my God. And then she goes. <laughs> so then I said, uh, how's your afternoon? How's your how's your morning going? Because it was morning for me. And she goes, well, it's, it's afternoon here. She's like, what what time is it for you? <laughs> I said, Haley, it is 915 in the morning. She goes, oh, my God. <laughs> it's almost tea time. I said, I know. Your day's over. Mine's just beginning. Yeah. I said, my misery is going to last much longer. <laughs> the misery. Yeah. So she goes, I am sorry. I said, well, it's not your fault, Haley. We're working on the time change. So she goes, I'm going to get all of this straightened out for you. And I'm like, I trust you, Haley. Do not let me down. It's like said, 2 o'clock over there. I'm thinking, I got Marilyn in my back pocket. <laughs> she's ready to go. She's ready to rock. You tell them to call me. All right. So she's like, you, you should have your refund by next week. I'm like, all right, Haley. Next week? Don't make me call you. Isn't that April? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's almost April. Don't make me call you, Haley. I'll do it. Wow. We'll rumble. But I, it's just, just like, uh, I was just sitting there like, it has to be, because it's An like easier a- easier uh, way. No, no. It's just the, they call that like the Chav accent, where it's like, oi, oi, oi. It's like- <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You're right, buddy? <laughs> So I was like, it has to be a chav who answers the phone, right? A chav? Yeah, it's the type of accent. That, I don't know what that means. That cha- it's just the Holy type shit. of accent. I was like, oh, God. The second you did that, the first thing I thought of was National Lampoon's European vacation. Why? When Chevy's in that outfit doing the dance with the other guys, and they're like, oi, oi, oh. oi, oi. Yeah. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. Wow. That's why it's going to Gonna get laughing. this straightened out for you. All this because of one package. <laughs> yeah, all this for a refund. Speaking of packages. I want my refund. They're not keeping my money. We got a segue <laughs> here. Yeah, this is a true story. So, at my work, we've been getting a lot of Amazon packages. <laughs> They've been really busy. But they were not addressed week. to us. Oh. It's like one I of didn't... our customers ordered stuff online, but then accidentally gave them our address. <laughs> so we've been, for like a week and a half, we've been getting all these packages, like weird packages, like a pair of binoculars. It's... Were you opening the packages? To see what they were, like what the, like <laughs> my boss was like, it's illegal. What? Well, it was it came to, it was our address, but it's not addressed to you. <laughs> it was <laughs> technically it was addressed to the 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 place the of business the place of business. <laughs> <laughs> and like the lady finally figured it out and she corrected it and like like she's been like coming by and picking up her stuff. Wow. I'm like, how how does that happen? Am I devious? <laughs> yes, I think I am. Yes. <laughs> like, how could you get the wrong address? Just throwing it just <laughs> open it up by and say we are not the post office, ma'am. I know. Seriously. Mm. I'm thinking like, what is she doing with binoculars? Fucking bird watching? No. <laughs> <laughs> she's watching something else. Oh, Oh. I have. What do you got? 
I got a good one for you. All right. Do we have time? Yes. Uh, well, we're going to, mm. I'll squeeze it in. It's not a long story. All right. We used to go an hour. We got time. So I had to. Three. I texted my plumber. All right. Yesterday. Mm. Isn't the sink already done? Huh? Isn't the sink already done? No, I got. I gotta get. Uh, gotta get the plumber to do the sink, the kitchen sink. Oh, kitchen sink. I got a new sink. Got a new faucet. Nice. Looking it up, right? So I text him, and I said, "Hey, Tim, let me pull up the text because my back and forth with him was hilarious." All right. So I said, "Hey, Tim," and I said, Ooh, "My me. name and where?" I always tell him like, "This is Tara over on Blank Street," and he's like, "Gotcha." <laughs> yeah, but doesn't he have like a number like? Caller ID? I never know if he has me <laughs> saved. And caller ID, apparently I found out from texting my boss who refused to answer my calls that my caller ID comes up in my maiden name. Oh. And she was like, I didn't <clears throat> even know that was you. I'm like, because you know so many tarots. <laughs> <coughs> so, orange I'm the, Yeah, I'm the orange one. Yeah. All right, go ahead. So I, I, I asked him if he was um, available because I got a new sink of faucet and I wanted to have him install it. And I said, I'm not like in a huge hurry because I didn't want him to like drop things to, to come and do it. Right. And I was like, you know, because I'd already done my Wednesday. I had to go into the office Wednesday. Ooh. Oh, big boo. <laughs> so I was going to be home the rest of the rest of the month. So I said, I'm here a month. So he wrote me back like all in caps and he's like, yes. <laughs> And then he goes, can you wait a week? I'm insanely booked. Insanely <laughs> Yeah. So I said, that's not a problem. Wow. So he said, the first or the second of April. All right. So I said, well, I have a doctor appointment, um, but it's late in the afternoon. So if you're still here, Jay will be home. So either of those days, I'm fine. Sweet. So then he says, it take oh, too long. how about the morning of, of the second? He goes, only will, it's only going to take me 45 minutes. 45 minutes tops. Okay. I'm sitting there like, I will time you. <laughs> so I said, that Two sounds minutes. that time sounds me. fine. Eight. So then he texts me, you're locked in. So I was like, great. So that he likes pictures of stuff. <laughs> not, not, not of me. Not of me. <laughs> but of the, the sink and the... So he goes, send so, me... So what are you wearing? <laughs> he goes, send me the pictures of the, the underneath the sink right. and the sink and the new sink and the new faucet. So I sent all that shit. You right. with the sink. <laughs> so then I, 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 I've, I've been pissed off since I moved into this house because the faucet <clears throat> in the kitchen, there's like a, like a limestone. I don't know what the fuck. Cowboy? Is, is, it's, it's a calcium buildup or something. Okay. And mm-hmm. I have tried various industrial cleaners and I cannot get that clean. Oh. So I said, you know, here's so a picture. Is it leaking? It's not leaking. It's just... Well, he just I don't want to get ahead of the story. <laughs> so I said, this is the old faucet. And then I said, um, the new sink is the same size uh, and type, except it has a black finish. I was like, you should just be able to drop it right in. Okay. So then I said, this is the old faucet. I said, I don't know what Middleborough has in its water, but I've never been able to get this looking better, and I hope the new faucet will be easier to clean. Okay. He says, this is what he responds to me, Okay. He goes, hey, good thing you don't try and grow weed. <laughs> what? He goes, a lady the other week asked me why her indoor plants die, and I'm like, you're watering them from town water, aren't you? <laughs> and then he goes, oh, he's, bo- he's bottled water from Desani. Oh, shit. I lost everything. No. Did I lose it? <clears throat> nope. I got it back. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Oh. Anyway. So um, he goes, she did a home test on her water and was pissed. It's high acidity, high pH, high iron content. And then he's like, I mean, I still drink it. (laughs) Isn't that what Daisy drinks? Yeah. Oh, no. He's like, but I also drink well water from copper pipes. He's like, so, you know. (laughs) So I'm like. No wonder I have a hard time getting clean. I'd be pissed, too, if I spent money on that stuff. I drank from the hose as a kid. I turned out okay. I was like, I'd be mad if the town water just killed all my weed. Damn. (laughs) So then he wrote... Killing my buzz. It wasn't just those it killed. It ate a $1,800 water tank in a year. And I was like, holy shit. And I said, no wonder she's angry. She lost her tank and her weed. (laughs) I'd be pissed too. <laughs> That's what I said. 
And he goes, no shit, huh? Use the money for the weed to buy the tank. <laughs> She'll have to sell the weed to buy the tank. <laughs> Damn it. The skank weed. Oh. Moment of silence. Seeds and stems. Did we have a winner last week, Joe? We did have a winner. Woo! Congratulations, Yvonne. Yay! That was a very soft applause. I think it was Bad Boys? Was it Bad Boys? You don't even know? It was I, remember I think it was Bad Boys. She won two gift cards. Hey! Hey! Was it the one about the sticking the balls and dragging the fuck along? Yep. Yeah. yep. Mm. Bad Boys. So, this week's quote is worth one gift card, Dunkin' Donuts, $5. You name them. Put the name Quo of the movie <laughs> on the... <laughs> This is a hot pot. All right. Too much spiced coke. <laughs> Comment the name of the movie on the YouTube video. If you're first and correct, you win. It's pretty easy. Are you ready? Yep. This one's kind of vulgar. Oh, dear. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Hey. Try not to suck any dick and wait till the parking lot. <laughs> that sounds familiar. Comment below. <laughs> you know that one. Uh. <laughs> no, it's I'm like, offended. No, no. It's, it's when you're like... I'll She's not that type of girl. Don't worry. Off, <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. We will see you next time. And before I send it down the table, here's your fun fact of the week. Uh, singer Dion Warwick, Ooh. upset with misogyny and rap lyrics, set up a meeting with Snoop Dogg and Suge Knight at her home where she demanded that they call her a bitch to her face. Snoop Dogg later said, I believe we got out gangsted that day. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn, Dion. <laughs> See, I'm putting it down. Throwing bows. Wow. <laughs> Have a great weekend. Have a good everything. Enjoy the new Ghostbusters movie. Don't ruin it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>